people, you can't make this up. I'm actually recording on a Mac. And now that I'm recording on a Mac, I have to show you how to be productive on a Mac. Cause you know, I've been using this Windows computer forever and people have been telling me one, that I was parched. That was my throat telling me that. And two, people have been saying that there isn't a form of quick capture using Notion. Now I've shown you how to utilize hints.so, but for those of you Notion fanboys that not only have iPhones, but also have Macs, you're going to be able to do Notion Quick Capture using the shortcuts functionality within the Mac ecosystem as well. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the shortcuts app on my Mac. Lucky for me, since I'm synced on iCloud, I have all of these different shortcuts set up. So for example, if we do right click and edit, you can see that I have this shortcut set up to send a text message to hints.so. Now, for those of you that are aware, you can't actually text hints.so through your Mac. I can only send iMessages. And the way that it's set up is that the automation is only done through SMS. However, there is a workaround that I can do. So this hashtag audio is essentially a task capture hashtag for my hints.so account. If I go to hints.so and log in, go to my integration setting, you can see that there's not only the SMS bot, but there's also a Slack bot, a WhatsApp bot, and Zapier, as well as an email bot. So I'm gonna go into open settings here and you can see the email is send to at hints.so. So that's pretty useful. Now in my account, I obviously have contacts and by going to my hints.so contact here, I can edit it in my iCloud and then make sure that this person has, if we go to press new here, an email. Now, if I paste this out to here and then press done, I've done what's very important and needed is that adding a contact to my shortcuts that has the right email attached to it. So the next step in this process is that we're gonna have to make sure that we're logged into the native mail app in your iCloud on your Mac. So if I go to mail and I start this sequence here, now what I'm gonna need to do in my Mac settings is actually go to settings and then go to internet accounts. So right here, if I go to internet accounts, I can then add my Google account. And after I finish adding this in, what I'm going to be able to do is utilize the mail app to send messages to hints to capture tasks quickly. Then after I press allow, we're gonna be able to go here and then I'm gonna add the following to these different items and press done. So then now in my mailbox, we should have my admin Gmail. So then now that that's connected, I can go back to shortcuts. And what I'm going to do so I'm just gonna quickly make a new shortcut that sends this hashtag to my hints.so contact, but now making sure that it's done towards the email. To create a new contact in Mac, what you're going to do is go to the top right and press this plus icon. And the cool thing is this syncs, like I said earlier, with your iPhone. So we're gonna go here and then just type out text. And we're gonna put hashtag audio, but before that, we're gonna right click and do insert variable and put ask each time. This is essentially gonna make it so that you have to type out what your input is gonna be every single time. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is gonna to go to mail and then do send email. And then for recipients, you're going to make sure that you put hints and then select that email address you put in. And then the subject is going to be right click, insert variable, and then you're gonna select that text that you just had written out. Actually, what I recommend you do is you just have the ask each time, and then you put hashtag audio uh, after the text here, because now when we press play, what will happen is, is I will put take out the trash on this shortcut and press done. And the email is going to send through like this. Now you can obviously change where it's coming from. I would rather have it come from my admin account. I'm gonna have it go from my admin account and then I'm gonna press send. And then you can see in my account, it sent take out the trash, hashtag audio. And if we go into my notion, you can see it quick captured it. So now how do we make this an even simpler workflow? Not only is this going to be a quick capture option uh, in the way that you're gonna have to, you know, just type that specific thing out every time, but in this circumstance, you'd have to go into the shortcut and then press play. That's a little bit ridiculous. What we're gonna do instead is, first of all, we're gonna uncheck show compose sheet, choose from, and then the email account we want. So then what we also can do is change this to task capture, and we can put a parentheses like Mac or something. Then I'm gonna select this and pick whatever icon I want. So I'm gonna do a little check mark and I'm gonna pick it to be red, whatever color I please. And then I can add this to my dock. So then if I just press this in the dock, I can type out, take out the garbage. Then the next thing you know, we have it pop up right here in hints. So an amazing thing about this 
is that we not only have the ability to do this, but we can also, if we use something like Raycast, which is an extension of Spotlight, is we can actually set up a system where we can easily do command space. Then I can type task capture parentheses Mac, right click on the new shortcut, add it to favorites. Now I would recommend you do it through a, a restart on your Raycast so it actually recognizes the name or put in the name right away, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna reshoot this. And obviously you don't need to do that either. You can just use the built-in spotlight feature. So if I just do spotlight and then do task capture, and then it shows this right here, task capture, Mac, I click on it and then boom, the quickest capture of all time. And then I press command enter, not even needing to click. And I have the quickest capture of all time in Notion. If you still think Hints isn't the best quick capture app out there, not sure how else I can convince you but I hopefully can convince you to check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.